SoCal Chevy Dealers Sports Update. I'm Jill Arrington with a look at the day in sports. Brooke Lopez led the Lakers with 20 points as the Purple and Gold beat the Thunder 108-104 in OKC. Gary Woodland wins the Phoenix Open in a playoff over Chez Revy. And Washington considers the franchise tag for quarterback Kirk Cousins so they can trade him. Thanks for checking in to the Sports Report. For more sports updates, go to KCAL9.com and stay tuned for KCAL9 News. Paul Williams didn't let racism stop him from becoming one of the nation's most renowned architects. He designed thousands of homes and famous properties from Beverly Hills to LAX. His work has a lasting impact on the L.A. landscape. Weather on the go. Download the new CBS L.A. weather app now. Live from the broadcast center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL My News at 8. Now at 8, a fiery freeway crash. Strangers try to save the man trapped inside of a burning jeep. And a father dies after saving his nine-year-old son in the California aqueduct. Plus, collegiate gymnasts unite today to support the victims of sexual abuse by former Olympics doctor Larry Nasser. Hello, everyone. I'm Henry from GE. And I'm Peter Dell. We begin with breaking news in Orange County. A police chase has ended with this standoff. It's happening in the city of Orange on Lincoln Avenue and Batavia Street. Officers have surrounded this white pickup truck and were told the driver was wanted on suspicion of DUI. Right now, the driver is just refusing to give up. The standoff has been going on for nearly two hours. We do have a reporter at the scene and will bring you any updates as the situation changes. <laughs> 